welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it might look a bit different and um, better quality than last time because I'm actually using a different lens. I've had this lens for a while but it didn't really occur to me to think about using it on YouTube. So there we go. That might be why it's a bit better and why I'm like cropped because it's actually on the other side of the room right now um, because it's really zoomed in. So I don't know how on earth I would get the whole of me in with that lens. But anyway, so yeah, today is, um, I've decided to do like a kind of unboxing luxury haul slash how you can make the most of buying luxury purchases on a lower budget. Because, um, so I'm not any someone who's got a lot of designer things by any stretch of the imagination. The first designer piece I ever owned I got last Christmas. My boyfriend bought me a St. Laurent card holder. I was absolutely over the moon with it. Um, apart from that, I recently made my first, so this week I've made two designer purchases. I've been working really hard and, and I really wanted to treat myself. I've uh, managed to hit my goal for travelling money, which I've been saving for for a while. So I just wanted to treat myself basically to something special to reward myself and it was recently my birthday. So yeah, it was just a kind of treat not something that I do all the time um, and because it's I'm not it's not something I do all the time I really thought about it um, and I've kind of picked pieces that I think are more suitable for me and things that I know will last forever um, things that will stand the test of time and things that I can mix in a lot um, and so I just thought I'd do and I'm going to do an unboxing of something I bought yesterday um, and then I'm also going to talk about something I bought last week and something um, how you can kind of mix in the pieces to your wardrobe and how you can be more sensible about um, luxury purchases that maybe will give your whole look a more luxury feel rather than, um, you know, like wearing a whole outfit from Primark and then having a Gucci bag. It's just kind of, it doesn't really work. Um, so, yeah. I thought I'll do that. So I'll get started with the um, unboxing because that's the most exciting piece. So this, I, yesterday I went to London and came back with this bag. Um, oh, I've gone really dark now. Um, so yeah, basically I've wanted a couple of things from Gucci for a while and I've been looking at the Dionysus bag um, and I really had my hopes pinned on yesterday when I went shopping to purchase my designer gift to myself um, and because of a purchase I made that I'll show you in a minute beforehand and also just the fact that I'm owed a lot of money people haven't paid me so haven't had enough saved up enough for the Dionysus and I just really wanted to go and buy something there and then um, so firstly I didn't manage to get it then anyway but I it is on my list so I'm saving up for it um, and also this is something else I've wanted for a long 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 time um, before I thought that the Dionysus might actually be in my budget and I just saw it and I fell in love with it and I was like I'm gonna get it to myself as a treat so it's from Gucci so um, the people in store were so lovely honestly like I felt so comfortable my boyfriend was like yeah that's a sales tactic like oh they're just being kind to you to try and get you to buy and I'm like I don't really <laughs> I don't care they're nice I've heard a lot about people who are nice. Oh, the bow's just fallen off. I had a really nice bow on it. Gucci bow. It's just fallen off. Got my authenticity card and care details in here. So it comes in a really nice box. I don't know if I should tell you what it is before. What's in here beforehand? It's a belt. So I bought, um, like, I don't know if it's a classic style, but it's just one that I really wanted. And I've seen it a lot particularly on Lucy Williams, I'll link her Instagram, I love her style and I just loved, I really identified with her style and I love the way she styled it and kind of thought I could see myself wearing it a lot and I'm, because I'm quite a simple dresser, I just thought something like this would really dress up all of my outfits and I'll wear it a lot, so my general outfit is jeans and a t-shirt, so a belt makes a perfect addition, so it comes in this lovely box and then inside the box we have a bag and then inside the bag we have a belt and it's beautiful so it's got the big large gold double G 
Um, you can get it like a G that's one circle, so they're like kind of ones upside down and ones normal. Um, and that was, and I did look at that one because it was um, a more light gold, like a silvery gold. So I thought, oh, maybe it will look better because it will go all gold and silver and everything. Because my leather jackets have all got silver hardware, but I just thought not hardware, sorry, details, zips and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just thought. It might be better, but they didn't do it in this size with a big buckle. And actually, this is the one that I originally went in for, so I just thought, bugger it, I'm going to get it. But I'll just show you what it looks like on. So you just, I got it in two, in, so that I can wear it in two different ways. So literally, you can see there, it just looks nice with any outfit. I mean, obviously, I haven't like properly done it up and stuff. But it's just like so much of a statement. So I got it so I can wear it up here or it fits down here um, and it's just I got it in like a thicker belt it's really good quality leather and then they also do the double G's in like a smaller size um, but yeah I really wanted the big one and it was a bit pricier but I just think you have to kind of if something's expensive I don't think there's any point in saving £50 to get something that's kind of like what you want you may as well just save and get the exact thing that you want because I think Otherwise, you've kind of settled. And if you're gonna make the spend the amount of money on a luxury purchase, then you should make sure that it's exactly what you want. Um, and also on that note, on that note, I did actually go to Bista Village earlier in the week, um, and I went to Gucci to try and see if they had this belt because I didn't know if it was like a classic. So they hopefully there'd be some, but they didn't have it in this style G. So the G had was more of like a um, old fashioned style G, and um, it was very 3D in like a more prominent way and it was silver and they didn't have black so I was going to get a silver one um, on like a camel belt and then I just thought it's only £100 cheaper which I know is a lot of money but it was not what I wanted so I thought what's £100 for a belt is still expensive so there's no point in wasting £100 on a belt that's kind of what I want I was like I may as well just get the one that I actually want so yeah that was a story of that and the reason why I got a belt as well is because I couldn't find, afford the handbag right now and I really wanted to treat myself and it is something that I've really wanted for a while. I'm really sorry if I've been blabbering on by the way. Um, and I just think for me I wear a lot jeans, white t-shirt, some variation of jacket or jeans, black t-shirt you know like the or jeans and a jumper and I just think this will just make it look um, more kind of luxury finish I think it's all about finishing touches with an outfit and I just I think yeah it'll just make I don't think it's going to go out of fashion I don't think it's going to um, age I just think it's quite a timeless piece it's almost like the machino belts that everyone wears I mean it's not personally my my taste but I don't think they're the sort of thing that are like a phase I just think it's timeless so yeah that's why I wanted to get that and um, I was actually deciding whether to get these or this or the loafers. Um, and when I saw this pair, I just thought, I'd, and they're not their high street, but I just thought I'd include them because they're such well priced. And I think, like, when you pair them, when you pair high street with designer, it can look really effective in kind of giving the overall look. So these are some Gucci loafer dupes. They're actually the most comfortable shoes. I own probably and I wore them all around yes London yesterday and they didn't hurt at all um, and they're from Topshop uh, so the woman was actually I was wearing these yesterday and the woman in the shop was wearing the um, Gucci loafers so I had a good like look at hers and um, they've got a more thin and rounded um, strap detail uh, buckle detail sorry and this is more rounded and pointed whereas on the Topshop ones it's quite square but I really like them, they're really good quality, they're beautiful shoes and I just think I'll keep these and if I wear them all the time, which I'm sure I will then, eventually I'll invest in the Gucci ones but I mean I guess it's kind of like try before you buy, buying the Jeep isn't it, because you see how much weight you're going to get out of it and then you can decide whether to invest or not. But I just think, so wearing these shoes with the belt it will give me a kind of overall more expensive look um, without the price tag, so all I've bought is a belt but wearing it with um, like more simple pieces would just give a really nice more luxury feel so then my second purchase um, is from Celine but I didn't actually get it from Celine so 
Um, I've got a bit of a story to tell with this one, as with the other one. Um, so basically, there's a store near me um, called Arch the Label Agency, and they resell other people's unwanted designer pieces. Um, so they kind of worked, if people don't want something, can't bother to sell it themselves. They have their own little store in Stamford, they have an online website too, and they also take requests and will like answer the phone to people and tell them what's in stock and stuff. Um, and they will go and pick up yours or whoever's designer pieces, take photos of them for the website, put them in the store, design a price review, and then when it's sold, they'll send you the money. If it doesn't sell and you change your mind, they'll courier it back to you. Um, so it's the full service really, which is why a lot of people use them. And it's such affordable pricing, like ridiculously affordable. Um, and um, I'm actually doing a post soon. It, it might be up. I might try and get this to go up at the same time, actually, or like the next day. So it's kind of like in sync. But so these, um, yeah, where was I? They do luxury pieces, a very, very, very affordable pieces. Like I'm talking the Zaguchi and Tagona um, in there at the moment for 850, I think. Um, so that's like ridiculous prices, um, really cheap. They've got a bar a bargain Prada bag for four hundred and fifty pounds. Uh, it's just really, really cheap prices, like considered to when you buy them new and really good quality too. So um, not all of them come in their original packaging, but a lot of them do. And um, mine came in its dust bag, and actually when I got it, it still had padding in. Um, one of the sections, so I was actually really shocked at how little the previous owner had used it. Um, so I got the Celine Trio bag, matches my top. The Celine Trio bag in khaki. So khaki isn't actually the colour I probably would have picked if I went to buy one new, but and I didn't, I wouldn't have even really considered it. Um, but I saw it when I went into the shop. Obviously, they don't have loads of them there. There's just one Celine bag. I just saw it. And I just loved the colour because it doesn't actually look massively khaki. I mean, it probably does on here, but when if you know it's khaki, yeah, it's khaki. But if you just see it, it kind of looks like a stony grey. Um, and it's got, like, the gold detailing for the zips. It's got three pockets. I actually could fit quite a lot in it. Yesterday I went to London. I had all my makeup, my card holder, my extra phone charger, my sunglasses, um, loads of different pieces. So I was really surprised at how much it can fit in. And can you see if I put it forward, the detail on it, and the fact that there's hardly anywhere. I'm so shocked at how. Um, and so I bought this one for £450. That's how much it was. And um, I just think that's so affordable for a Celine bag. And such good value for money. And I mean, if like me, it's your first designer bag, it's quite good because you can get a piece and not feel like you're breaking the bank and like if you don't know if you're going to wear it a lot or if you're going to be too scared to wear it like you don't have the same kind of fear of it being broken or damaged in some way I just think it's a really good idea to get and also I mean why would you not if you can get something for over half price off why would you not get it from there why would you pay full price I don't really understand um, and they always have loads of different things coming in all the time i mean at the moment they've got this they had this celine they've got the celine trapeze bag they've got the celine luggage they've got the celine box bag they've got the Givenchy antagona they've got a prada bag they had um a saint laurent duffel bag um well so they've got like chanel clutches um and then they've got shoes too they had chloe glove shoes um saint laurent flats um loads of Prada heels um, they've got loads of beautiful dresses too and like a Philip Lim jacket for £150 it's just ridiculous prices I mean £150 for a leather jacket you'd probably pay that in Zara or Topshop so I think for a designer piece and they're like new it's crazy I mean a lot of the things have still got labels on because people just haven't worn them I mean there was one top there when I was there and it was a Dior top and there was two exactly the same with the labels on crazy so, so it was from the same person so they just uh, yeah mad absolutely mad but yeah so I really love this I just think it's a really nice classic style will go with everything and it's a really nice simple that's what I think about both of these pieces that I got and why I got them is because they're really simple pieces 
that will go with everything. They won't, like, they're not trend pieces, lead pieces. They're classics. And, um, yeah, I just think they're, like, they're going to go with everything. It's not something that's not going to go with a certain outfit or a certain colour, particularly with the Celine. And I know, I don't think I probably would, but you can clip them off. So you could just use the front one as a pouch if you wanted to, it's like a little clutch. But yeah, I just love it so much. And the fact that it came with the padding in it was like a complete shock to me and I was absolutely gobsmacked. But anyway, I've literally been talking for so, so, so long. Um, I'll leave links below with all of the products that I've featured. Um, with the Celine, I actually looked and you can't, I couldn't find it online. Um, I'll leave a link to the Celine website, but I don't know if you can buy it online. I know that net porter and stuff don't do Celine bags. Um, but also I'll leave a link to Arch because you can have a look on the website what they've got. The clothes aren't on there, but um, Susie, the owner, is lovely. And if you ring up, you can either say, have you got, say, for example, have you got a Gucci Dionysus bag? No. She'll, be, she'll take a request. So if you say, can you let me know when you've got one in? Here's my number. She'll ring you up. Um, or you can ring up weekly and just see if they've got it in. Um, so yeah, and the same with clothes and stuff. If um, I'll leave a link to my blog post actually below because this will go up after my blog post. So I'll have done a blog post all about the shop and I'm, I'm sh I, it's got all like my top picks of what's in store and like outfits and stuff. Um, so you'll be able to see that and if there's anything on the post that you want, you can ring her up and she'll um, reserve it for you or post it out to you and... Yeah, it's just a real Aladdin's cave, so I definitely think it's worth having a look at the website at least if you've got five minutes. Um, so I'll leave that link below, I'll leave the link for the belt, and I'll leave the link for the beautiful shoes uh, from Topshop, which are the more affordable high street dupes. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching my video. I'm really sorry that it's really um, long and chatty, and I feel like I've repeated myself a lot, a lot, a lot, and I've said the word like a lot, a lot, a lot. But anyway, I hope you liked it, um, hopefully, I mean, there won't be really regular because I'm not someone who does a lot of designer buying, but I am hoping to get my hands on the Gucci Dionysus in the near future, so if I do do that, then I'll do an unboxing. Um, let me know if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up, that would mean the world to me, and also let me know if you like these videos, because if you don't, then I just won't do it again. Um, leave me comments, let me know what your first designer purchase is or if you've had one or what you're saving up for and um, let me know if there's any other videos you want to see and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!